Okie doke. There we go. Approve. All right, Brian, it should be doing it right now, dude. Okay. Awesome. Is this happening right now? <laughs> yes, we got it. We got it. Let's do it. Can you All see right. Um, so uh, I I am okay. They're they're doing construction here, so bear with me if you hear any sound, any noise like that. But um, yes, and I know there is a shining light raining down right now. Just a All little. Right. Bit. Am I in the camera enough? Or was I just now? I'm sorry, what? Am I in the camera enough right here? Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Well, um, mm -hmm. there's no one on right now, but for the people that are going to watch it later, what's up? This is my guy, Brian. Go ahead and introduce yourself, Brian, for everyone that doesn't know you. All right. Uh, my name's Brian Pereira. Uh, I'm 21 years old. I'm, I'm from Boston, Mass. Uh, real, got licensed in January um been been in sales since uh i was about sheesh i want to say i've been in sales forever now um mm -hmm. after reading grant cardone's books you know um i i can tell that i've always been um you know just trying to get my way with things um but i've actually been in sales since i was 16 17 um loved it dropped out of high school so saw this as an opportunity that I could go ahead and, and make millions, you know, or, or be successful, be financially free. Cause, um, that's, that's, uh, the, the big, the big reason why, you know, your family came here, my family's here, you know, or, I mean, yeah, I, I that's, that's how this, this country started. Right. Right. So Absolutely. yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. um, you you were supposed to be on with me, but um, you were you were busy and everything, which is totally understandable. So keep on putting in the work. But I'm glad you're able to join me today, Brian. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cool. So um, Brian and I talked about this uh, before getting on the live. Um, I told him, you know, the, the things that we would like to talk about today. So we agreed that these are some important things um, that are involved in successful people um, in their daily lives, especially on a Monday, which everyone dreads for whatever reason. I'm not sure why that is. Um, I think it's just a cool social trend as to why people just dread Mondays. I mean, you know, I, I get tired of seeing those posts about, you know, oh my God, it's Monday. We have to get back to the grind. Can't wait till Friday. And then on Tuesday, you're like, oh great, it's Tuesday. Only three more days to the weekend. You know, that, that secession is demeaning to those who are trying to get to a certain level, you know, as far as financial and success goes. So um, the reason why we wanted to do this, like I told you guys, um, we had planned to do what? Motivation Mondays. And then what was Tuesday, Brian? Um, I'm not quite sure. I know it was mo mo motivation Monday. Um, what, what could you, what could you do for Tuesday? Um, <laughs> Tuesday was Tuesday tips. You did it last week on your own. I remember that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Tuesday was Tuesday tips. I remember you giving out a few good tips and, um, there'll be tips given out in every one of our videos. Right. <laughs> anyway. Yes. Yeah. So, so, so today, um, today, I think today I actually think is imperative. Uh, for a lot of people, um, reason why is because uh, if you want to be successful in anything in life, it, it requires you to have the right mindset. You know what I mean? Just just so that you're you're because because uh, I mean it's all about that, right? Would you agree with that? I totally agree with you. It starts there. Yeah, yeah. So I think today's today's episode. I mean, what we're gonna talk about is gonna be very very imperative for people and and. Uh, you actually have everything. So I'm just going to be complimenting you today, but yeah. <laughs> For sure, man. I, I, I really do want to, you know, have you chime in, do whenever you feel like it, Brian. Um, so yeah, we'll just go ahead and get started. So Monday motivation, as you guys can see, number one I have up here on the board is mantras and affirmations. They're one and the same. So I put both words there. Affirmation is a more formal word that, or excuse me, mantra is a more formal word. Affirmation is 
um, the word that is more circulated throughout the United States for one. So, right. yeah. So what are your thoughts on, you know, affirmations and mantras and when should they be used and how should they be used? Um, affirmations, I feel like should be used in the mornings. Um, mantras, I don't really, I don't really have a mantra. I mean, um, I kind of adopted Grant Cardone's mantra, which is who's got my money. Um, reason, reason why is, uh, well, the reason why I, I, uh, I would do affirmations in the morning is because, you know, as soon as you wake up in the morning, you're already checking your phone, you're already checking social media, you're answering to your, like some argument that, you know, a friend or your coworker or your boss, or he wants you to come in earlier for some people that are, you know, that are doing something in regards to a nine to five. And so you're, you, and, or you turn on the news and you're just watching like how um, Russia versus the United States or Korea or something like that can, uh, um, in, in nuclear war. And so you're, you're just hit with that kind of, um, that kind of negativity from the start of the day. Right. Affirmations is a great way for you to go ahead and, and just, you know, affirm yourself and affirm what you're going to do in the day. And, and honestly, yeah, what do you have to say about it, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I totally agree with everything you said, man. And in, in the morning is probably the absolute most crucial time to do these things. Um, mantras, though, so I'm taking this from monks. And you know how they, they'll, they'll have beads wrapped around their wrists and they count on those beads. There's 108 of them normally. And on every single bead, they say the same affirmation over and over and over. I am strong. I am confident you know, over and over and over. It's one affirmation per 108 beads. So that's why I put mantras and affirmations in the same place because they technically are the same thing. They're just, you know, yeah. one may be a little more religious, I guess you could say, than the other. And um, yeah, I think mantras are, affirmations, excuse me, are extremely, extremely important in the morning. And honestly, throughout the, the, the entire rest of the day, because, you know, there's little events that happen throughout the day that'll, take you off guard, you know, you'll be caught off guard, like, whoa, 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 what is, what is this that just came into my life that I wasn't expecting to happen, and so when those things happen to me, at least, I start repeating the, the things that I said in the morning already, you know, oh, no, I can, I can handle this, I'm confident, I am stronger than this, this problem is very small, and that's another thing, we have to grow bigger than our problems, that way, any problem that comes to us is this small, you can handle it, take care of it, nip it in the bud, whether, whether it's in, within one day, a week, a month, but it just depends on the issues. But, um, yeah, so I definitely agree with the affirmations in the morning and throughout the day. And um, so, some examples, we already gave examples of the affirmations, you know. And what was that, um, that counting thing that you were telling me about when you first wake up? How do you count backwards? Yeah, so I, I, I'm actually really curious. What were you saying about a beads, though, um, with the mantras? What is right, so there'll be um, – it just depends on what um, culture we're talking about here, but mm -hmm. it's, it's basically a really long necklace. Let's say it's like three yards long and you wrap it around your wrist. And so as you wake up in the morning and this could be a part of anyone's morning routine, you know, but there's 108 beads on there and that number is purposeful. I cannot remember the reason why I should, I do apologize, but they are per the, the number 108 is very um, crucial to the creation. So, when you're saying these over and over and over, you're basically, um, you know, programming your subconscious. You're, you're making your subconscious only understand what you're saying to yourself as you're counting on these beads. So I could even do it with this watch. This watch has, well, a couple of little these knots or whatever. I can say, I'm confident. I'm strong. 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 You know, it's basically like that. So the beads are, you know, kind of insignificant. It was just using them as an example, um, you know, as, as to reprogram your mind, basically. So um, yeah, I can put yeah. a link to where I found that information. I'll, I'll put a link in the video after we post it and everything. But um, yeah, for yeah. the most part, that, that's, that's what it's about. Okay. Yeah, I mean, um, just, just finishing off on that, like, um, I've seen people that even have just bracelets that say, you know... Um, something positive on it, you know, like hustle hard. Well, like I got these, these bracelets, this one's from it works. So it, it doesn't really say anything positive, but this one, this one says save the bees, go bees. 
Um, <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, but like just something that reminds you because you know you're you're activating that visual sense, you know, um, that that you're stimulating that, and and like just like having st something in the office that's like no negativity or something like that. I mean, I agree with you, but yeah, post that link up. I'll read it. You know, I'm sure people will, will really enjoy that. It's actually a video, so you don't even have to read anything. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah um, you, you did you you did ask me about the five second rule though. Yeah. Um, that's that. Yeah. So, um, Mel Robbins, based out of Boston, um, one of the most booked uh, motivational speakers for I think 2016 or 2015, yeah. um, came out with a book called The Five Second Rule. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's a five second rule that dictates um, any thought or any decision that you make in your life. You have five seconds to either act on it or to um, or to not because your brain will kill it. Did that kind of make sense? It makes sense to me. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, man, I, I, like uh, you want to go to the gym. You got five seconds right now. You know what I mean? Five, four, yeah. three, two, one. If you don't go, then your brain will kill that, you know? Wow. Um, so, yeah, it's really simple. It's, it's actually one of those books where um, – she just explains to you the rule in the beginning of the book. And then mm -hmm. after that, she just backs it up with like things that'll make you under like scientific like studies. And, but, but the science, that's not even the, the best part of the book. It's just the, the stories, the people that, you know, change their lives. They're like, Oh my gosh, Mel, like, you know, I had a terrible wedding or I was so afraid to approach this girl in the bar. And then I just five, four, three, two, one, it <laughs> went over there. And the result doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Right. She, she says that in the book, but it's just the fact that you're, you're, you're doing what you're, you're supposed to do. Yeah. You're so taking that's like, action. Check that out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I totally love that, dude. I love it. And I'll recommend now everyone go find that book and purchase it and read it, you know, because that is extremely crucial is taking action immediately. When you hear something that motivates you, and the thing about motivation, Brian, you know, we, we both understand this, but motivation is a temporary emotion. Motivation is not something that lasts for, you know, an entire day. It could last an entire day, but it's going to be broken up into little segments, you know. It's, it's like, um, you know, you may feel motivated right now to go do something, you know what I mean? And then once you finish that, your motivation kind of depletes a little bit until the next spike comes. And then it's kind of like a, a, a wave, you know? And um, yeah. a lot of people think like to stay motivated, it's like, you know, it, it's extremely, it's hard, but it's because they don't understand that motivation is temporary. So it's supposed to feel the way that you feel about it, you know, but people are misconstrued. They're like, I, something's not right with me because I don't feel motivated 24 seven. You know, it, it's the dedication behind the motivation that continues your, 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 your movement, you know? And um, I really hope that people get that. I really, really do. Because once I understood that, I stopped beating myself up so much about not feeling completely motivated, you know? And it's like, it's okay. It comes in, it comes in increments, you know? And I have to act on it. Otherwise those increments are going to become longer in between where I'm not motivated for a longer period of time, you know? Yeah. But, um, yeah. But yeah, dude, um, I appreciate your input too, man. And um, I just told you about this, number two, affirmations, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so um, I don't know if you mind that. I say it just because I can touch back. I can bring it back to the five-second rule. Yeah. But basically what uh, Kaiju was explaining is affirmations is something that some gentleman, I don't know, came up with, right? And basically the affirmation. I do affirmations in the morning and I actually just letting you know, I even do sales affirmations in the morning, which is career specific. You know what I mean? So you could, so you could, you can wake up in the morning and you could say, you know, I love my life. I'm happy. I enjoy life. I love receiving unexpected miracles, you know, and then you could even go into and saying, you know, um, like I'm persuasive and convincing. I, uh, uh, I'm enthusiastic about what I sell. You know what I mean? Even if you're at McDonald's, I'm enthusiastic about helping my customers. You know what I mean? At least you're not going to go there and you're going to have that like, um, terrible attitude. Um, right. which let's face it. Nobody even likes to talk to people like that. Right. So, um, but the affirmations though, the affirmation, affirmations, how would you say that? Yeah, affirmations. It sounds almost exactly the same as this one. That is the only letter that's different, the I to the O. That's it. Yeah. 
So at formations, you were, you were explaining to me the guys just, you know, the, the affirmations wasn't working for him. So he went ahead and just he, he, he redid the way that he asked the question um, by, uh, I mean, he redid the way that he told himself that, that he affirmed himself by asking himself a question instead. Um, so like you were explaining, right? Why do I got so much money? You know what I mean? Um, why, why am I so, am I so confident? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, going back to the five second rule, whatever works for you, I think we agreed upon, right? Yeah. Um, basically the five second rule, the way it works is why does five, four, three, two, one work when it comes to getting out of bed, but one, two, three, four, five doesn't work because your subcortex, which is your lizard brain, what they call, or your, your, your survival, um, part of your brain, it, it's used for, it's used to you saying one, two, three, four, five. So yeah. the so so it won't activate your 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 prefrontal cortex, which is the yeah. decision part of your brain. Um, so I, I mean, if you ask yourself a question and it makes you feel that that if you feel like you you know like you're getting results out of it, it, it doesn't matter, you know. Um, right. Let me give a quick example. Yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm saying let me give a quick example. Like, instead of using the beads to say, I'm confident, I'm confident, I'm confident, you would use the beads and ask, why am I so confident? Why am I so confident? Why am I so confident? And that, like you just said, activates your prefrontal cortex to go searching for the answer, which then right. is allowing it to be attractive to you. So that's just a quick example for you guys to understand. Instead of saying, I am happy, you ask, why am I so happy? And then your right. brain is going to instantly start to pin all the things that make you happy, and you're going to keep striving for those things. Yeah, I do. I do want to caution, though. I mean, if you don't, if you don't get the chance to get the book, the five second rule, just yeah. um, when you first do try it, like let's say tomorrow, you just you're just like, man, I'm going to try to wake up at six. You know what I mean? Just yeah. do it backwards. You you can't do it one, two, three, four, five, or else it's not going to work. So that's just yeah, a you're warning. Yeah, you're going to turn all the way to a hundred. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be the hundred still laying in bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> exactly, man. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to bring that to people's attention because it was something I found at a library um, in one of the motivational areas, you know, just a regular, regular looking book. And um, buy the book, too. It's a very good book. It has a lot of different um, information for you. And I read about two years ago. But, um, yeah, so let's move on to number three, which is morning routine. And, Wait, um, last okay, last I'm thing, here. and we can totally add this to morning routines. But I haven't even actually read the book. On my phone, I have um, Audible, right? And you can get Audible for fifteen bucks a month. I think they give you a free month. Um, right. you, they give you your first free book for free. Um, so I listen to audio audio books. You know, I mean, I have books at home, but you can get the book on audio. You know what I mean? And on your way to work, you're listening to that stuff because that's yeah. that's part of morning routines right there, right? It totally is, dude. Listening to anything motivational in the morning, and um, that's why the phone is right there because yeah. many people they they um, what's the first thing that you used to do before you started to really get serious about you know, expanding your business as, as a person, um, you know, I'm pretty sure you used to just wake up, pick up your phone and there's all your messages, your social media feed, emails, all that stuff. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Dang. It's getting hot in here. Um, yeah. Uh, that's a, you said it. Yeah. Yeah. And so those things are doing what, when, when you wake up in the morning, you're, you're basically brand new, you know, and you, you slept off yesterday and you're re-energized for today. Hopefully you got enough rest. And so if you wake up and the first thing you pick up is your phone, and like you said earlier, man, your boss is mad at you. Um, you know, people are emailing you, asking you for information. You're just getting bombarded by social media. You're looking for your likes and stuff on, on Instagram or Facebook. You know, all that stuff is distracting to the movement, to the forward on going on movement, right? And so um, real quick, in, in my morning routine though, um, Every morning, I do wake up, I write down, um, like I told Brian earlier, I changed it from goals. This used to be a G-O-A-L, right? A goal. I'm tired of hearing that word, honestly, um, you know, because just like with the do with affirmations, like, I feel like when I hear the word goal, it's something that is an option, right? It doesn't feel like it's something that I have to do. 
So um, I change it to will do's. And so that's what I do every morning. I write down, and it, it could be from a list of three to a list of 20, you know, different will do's for the day or for the week, um, yada, yada. And then, you know, standards, you know, hold, like I mentioned in the previous video last week, holding yourself to the highest standards is extremely important as well. Um, and making sure, like, you know, using standards, go right up here to affirmations, you know. You, you um, create your standards by saying your affirmations and by keeping yourself accountable, right? And then number three, or letter C was the phone, you know. Leave your phone, leave your phone charging somewhere else, like, in the morning. You know, if you need it to wake up, fine, let it wake you up. But when it wakes you up, instantly put that thing down, go to the bathroom, brush your teeth, use the restroom, whatever you got to do, sit down, write, write down any thoughts that come out of your head. You know, that way you're just, uh, you regurgitate all that stuff. You either write, I'm super happy, or you write, like, you know, I'm feeling excellent, whatever it may be. You may write about, you know, what you want to do for the rest of the day, blah, blah, blah. And um, I, yeah. I feel like that's going to help change a lot of people's lives because it helped to change my life. It helped me to focus on, on what is important. Versus looking at my phone and saying, you know, oh man, like I wish like I would have, you know, done something else yesterday, da, da 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 It's like instead of, you know, harping on that negativity, it, it, it comes out more positive when you're able to do that in the morning. And so let me hear your take on it, Brian. I'm going to grab some water real quick, okay? I'm still listening though. Yeah. Okay. Um, really quick, guys. Uh, I'll tell you what my, my morning routine is. The, 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 the point isn't that you emulate me um, or, or that you emulate Kaija. It's that you have one because life is a hurricane. Like I said, you're, you, you might get calls at, you know, four in the morning. You're probably getting emails or I'm sorry, that's an exaggeration. I'm thinking of somebody working at Duncan's or something. But, you know, um, you, you might get a call from your mom um, or, or like texts from, from friends, moms, bosses in the morning just telling you to do stuff for them, you know what I mean? And you got to keep yourself in the front seat of whatever ambitions or dreams that you have or, or just you in general, you know, you got to love yourself, right? Um, so that's why a morning goal, a morning routine is imperative because it's a hurricane out here. Um, my morning routine, I wake up uh, 5 or 6 a.m., right? So, um, it, it, I mean, you can research everybody that makes money in life um, or is, is somebody, right, successful, somebody successful, they wake up really early in the morning. And that's because they feel like they're missing out on the day if they wake up late. Um, so, I wake up 5 or yeah, they wake up 5 or 6 in the morning. Um, well, I do. I wake up 5 or 6 in the morning. Uh, first thing I'll do is I, I put first off the night before I'll put my phone in another room um, so that I can get up. I can five, four, three, two, one and get up and, and go shut that down. Then I'll go wash my face or something, you know, use the bathroom. Uh, and, then like, and then I'll write my goals down. Um, so uh, it's important for you to write your goals. I, I, another thing every successful person does is write their goals down. And, and I do mine every day. I don't know if you do yours like every week. Some people do them. Yeah, I don't know how you do it. I do mine twice a day, um, and I'm going to start doing it every time I take a hit, too. So um, let's say I go – yeah, yeah. Let's say I go to a listing presentation, and the guy, you know, uh, uh, doesn't want – doesn't, you know, uh, you know, didn't like the commission I'm charging or something like that. You know what I mean? All right, fine. And I write it down because I want to keep – it's all about that feeling of, of, like, you know, the engine running at 12 cylinders, you know. It's, it's, it's about the affirmation, really. Um, second thing I'll do – yeah, so I'll write my goals down. I'll meditate for 10 minutes, and then I'll, I'll run – yeah, I'll go to the gym, um, work out on Zen mode. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, right, right. I wish I, I was working out <laughs> Um, cool. Yeah, and I'll come back, and I'll and, and so I'll get ready at the gym and go to work, you know. But by the time you get to work, believe me, if you have a morning routine where um, where you're doing something consistent every day, like some people read in the mornings, you know yeah. what I mean. I'm gonna try and start reading at night. Um, mm -hmm. Some people listen to audiobooks um, during the gym or during a walk or something during their commute in the car. Um, but if you start doing that stuff consistently versus the next guy, it's all, it's not about competition. It's about domination. That's, that's the name of the game here. Um, so you, when you're talking to Sally that get that wakes up at like what nine and she's got to be at work in like half an hour, you know what I mean? Um, she gets there and her body's there, but her, 
her soul is like still in bed, dude. And you're yeah. you're the guy that, or you're the gal that woke up at five in the morning. You know, you you meditated, got your goals around, good. You know, um, it works out even if it's for half an hour. Man, it doesn't matter. You're gonna get there and you're gonna be shining. You know, you're gonna radiate. Um, so yeah, um, that's that's. I mean, for for personal for personal re like my personal life, that's what I do. I do have a set, another routine at work too. But I don't know if you want to talk about that. Hey, actually, we can save that for next Monday. For um, you know, just leave that as a category for next Monday. We want to keep this one like just a little shorter, um, but it is our first one together. So you know, we're gonna have things that we need to work on. You know, um, in 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 terms of length of time and stuff like that and content. So yeah, save that for next week. We will definitely touch on your morning routine when you actually show up at the workplace. Um, yeah, awesome, awesome stuff, dude. And you already touched on this one, the nightly routine, right? Um, that's already what you said. You know, you write down your goals each evening and you're starting to read in the evenings as well. And I can yeah. tell you, um, I read the book called The Slight Edge. That was one of the first books I've read since I was in high school. So was that like five, six years ago? And ever since I read that book, and that was in June, guys, in June. Since June, I've read 10 books total, cover to cover. Um, you know, because reading 10 pages a day, it really does add up to that. And then especially once you are into the book that you're reading, and keep in mind, these aren't novels. These are, um, a couple of them are autobiographies, but they are substance books. You know, they are books that have to do with creating a future for yourself and getting as rich as possible because, quite frankly, that's something that, you know, we totally agree on is we have to get as rich as possible. And if you guys don't know who Grant Cardone is, go follow him because he's so, yeah. he has so much great information and he gives it out for free, which is just immaculate. He does have products, of course, that he sells, but, you know, most of his information is free. And if you just Google him, YouTube him, you're going to have a whole different perspective on what goes on in your mind and what yeah. goes on outside of it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, just just to talk about Grant Cardone, um, the guy revolutionized the way that you know I live my my, my life um, lifestyle. You know, I've told you this, um, you know, behind scenes, but I think two things we all got to acknowledge is is like, um, well, in terms of his products, it would be sell or be sold because you know ever that that like uh, the good example, and I'm trying to make this quick for for everybody, but. Um, when you're a little kid in the, in the store and you pick up that, you know, that whatever candy you're, you got, um, and you're, can you tell, can you, can you hear me? Okay. Oh, I thought I cut off right there. Your mom. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Well, yeah. Um, you're selling your mom right there, you know, Hey mom, can I have this? Can I have the candy mom? Please, mom, please. No, put it away. Come on, please. Let me just have the candy. I'm taking it anyway. <laughs> Fine. All right. You know, and, and, and you, you, you pummel your mom to the point where she just like, she's exhausted and she's like, all right, man, just, just put the, put the candy in the car. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, so, so yeah, you're selling or you're being sold, you know, um, girlfriends, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you're, you're selling that girl that you're the guy, you know, and, and screw all the other losers, right? Man, that's mean. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, all right, guys. No, but 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 on a serious note, so seller be sold and then 10x actions. You know, there's four levels of actions that everybody takes. You don't take any action at all. You know what I mean? So eh, I'm going to leave it for later. You back up. You back up. So so you you retreat. Um, that's usually because somebody has a negative experience. So then they start retreating. You take right. average at, uh, levels of actions. Uh, meaning, uh, you know, you're just uh, nine to five, 40 hours a week or something like that. Um, man, I'm, I'm, I'm on about people working hard. Uh, so you're going to have to bear with me, everybody. Or, or, um, or you, you take massive action. You know what I mean? You're obsessed. You know what I mean? It's okay to be obsessed. Another one of his books is, yep, you got it. It's all right to be obsessed. Everybody successful in life has been obsessed about something you know I mean? you're either obsessed about good things like like um you know um being the the number one guy that knows how to like work a computer or, or sell something or um sheesh be a fitness expert like a like a <laughs> football yeah. player 
Or you're obsessed with a girlfriend that, like, you know, doesn't even care about you. But it's a bad obsession, but it's obsession anyways, you know? So you yeah. got to be obsessed about the right things. That's really quick on Grant Cardone. And I forgot where we were even at. <laughs> no, it's fine. We were actually concluding with the um, the nightly routine thing. And, um, yeah, yeah. So, so book reading, will do slash goals, and yeah. meditation for sure. And people get misconstrued with meditation and prayer. They are just about the exact same thing. Your yeah. brain resonates both at the same frequency. So don't get caught up in, you know, oh, I need to pray and meditate. And if that's how you want to do it, then fine. Um, you know, yeah. one where you're speaking to the source and then one where you're speaking to yourself. But always remember that source is still within you. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. So meditation and prayer, I see as one and the same. Like I said, scientifically proven, they resonate at the same exact frequency in your mind. So there's no difference with those. And meditation is one of the most powerful things on this planet. And when you meditate, you can do affirmations in your mind over and over and over. That's a form of meditation is saying affirmations and keeping your mind at a, at a calm state, right? So, um, Brian, I, I really appreciate you coming on, man. I'm really glad we were able to do this one today, dude. And um, shoot, tomorrow we can do the Tuesday tips if you are um, going to be available around this same time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We can do that. Cool. Um, yeah, and, and really quick, just just to touch down on meditation. I mean, if yeah. if, if you're religious or something like that, or if you're not, um, you know, uh, meditation and prayer scientifically work the same area of the brain, which is the frontal cortex, which right. is like the the willpower. So your 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 willpower is what you want to work at because um, you know what I mean. So so either or, um, just like you said, is uh is fine. Um, yep. Yeah, but okay then. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for having me on here, by the way. Um, tomorrow, I'll go ahead and definitely join you. And um, yeah, guys, just start taking action somewhere, right? I, I mean, I think that's the most important thing. Yeah, we came All smack right. dab in the middle of the day because, you know, so it's kind of the point in time where people start to um, eat lunch and, you know, kind of start to go on that down slide. Okay, the day's coming to an end, you know, early. And so we wanted to come in smack you in the face real quick and let you know keep that up all throughout the day and i wrote down these books real quick i'll i know it's kind of like a little messy so i'll let you know seller be sold grant cardone five second rule i don't know who that yeah. author author is i'm sorry um, uh, mel robbins yep. mel robbins okay and then the mm -hmm. slide edge i cannot remember his name it starts with t uh it's not t harv ecker he actually wrote the millionaire mind book um yeah yeah just just google it guys slide edge be obsessed or be average is Grant Cardone again. Affirmations is the gentleman I was telling you about earlier. I forgot his name too. 10X Rule is Grant Cardone as well. So we got three Grant Cardone books up here. Yeah. He has, I don't know, like seven of them, right? Yeah. So um, grab one or all of these books, guys. Um, we've uh, I've read all of these books except for this five second rule one. And, um, you know, here we are today. So let's keep it going, Brian. And I'll see you tomorrow, man. All right. Thank you. Have a, right. have a good one. Absolutely. Right. Be obsessed, be average, 10x, everything, guys. Yep. Take action. <laughs> Take massive action. All right.